Pleasant good day everyone. Welcome to my virtual class. My name is Mom J and I'll be teaching a new topic for today. So let's get ready and we will start now. Adding the similar rational algebraic expressions. So when you say the similar RAE, ito na yung hindi magkaparehas yung denominator. So, para makapag-add tayo ng dissimilar REE, syempre, una natin gagawin, kailangan maging magkaparehas sila. Kailangan maging similar REE muna sila, bago tayo makapag-add. Pero bago yan, mag-fraction muna tayo. So, add the following fractions, reduce to lowest term. So, let's have number 1, 9 over 7 plus 1 half. So, meron akong ipapakita sa inyong dalawang solutions. So, pili na lang kayo kung saan kayo mas nadadalian. So, solution number 1 using LCD. So, pag sinabi natin LCD, least common denominator. So, ginagamit natin yan o hinahanap natin yan para maging magkaparehas na yung ating denominator. At pwede na tayong makapag-add. So, ang ating denominator ay 7 tsaka 2. So, si 7 may factor na 7 times 1. At si 2 naman may factor na 2 times 1. So, ang pagkuha ng LCD, yung unique factor nila, ilalagay lang natin. Tapos, yung common, isusulat lang natin as 1. So, si 7, may unique factor na 7. So, ibaba natin. At si 2, may unique factor na 2. So, ibaba rin natin. So, si 1, hindi ko na nilagay. Kasi, automatic times 1 naman yan. So, then, multiply natin. So, 7 times 2 is equals to 14. So, meron na tayong LCD, 14. Gagamitin na natin yan para maging similar fraction na siya sila. So, si 14, i-divide natin sa 7 at i-multiply natin sa 9 para makuha natin yung numerator. So, ang sagot ay 18. Ganon din sa pangalawang fraction. So, 14 divided by 2 times 1 is equals to 7. So, dahil parehas na sila ng denominator, pwede na tayong mag-add. So, 18 plus 7 is equals to 25. And then, syempre, copy the denominator. So, over 40. So, we have 25 over 40. Solution number 2 using butterfly method. So, ano ba yung butterfly method? So, para lang din tayong nagko-cross multiply. Yun nga lang, dadagdagan natin. Kailangan natin i-multiply yung ating mga denominator. So, gawin natin. So, 9 over 7 plus 1 half. So, 9 times 2, we have 18. 1 times 7, we have 7. And then, 7 times 2, we have 14. So, meron na tayong denominator. Pwede na tayong mag-add. So, 18 plus 7 is equals to 25. And then, copy the denominator, which is 14. So, we have 25 over 14. So, magkaparehas lang yung ating mga sagot. So, nasa inyo na yan kung saan kayo mas nadadalian. Number 2, we have 2 third plus 7 over 4. So, using butterfly method, yun yung ginamit ko kasi para sa akin, yun yung mas madaling gamitin. Sige, gawin na natin. So, 2 times 4, we have 8. 3 times 7, we have 21. Then, 3 times 4 is equals to 12. Hindi na ako naglagay ng antena. Okay na yan. And then, mag-add na tayo. So, 8 plus 21 is equals to 29. They copy the denominator, which is equals to 12. So, we have 29 over 12. Number 3, 8 over 15 plus 2 over 10. So, using butterfly method. So, 8 times 10 is equals to 80. 15 times 2 is equals to 30, and 15 times 10 is equals to 150. And then add, so 80 plus 30 is equals to 110 over 150. So, pwede natin i-cancel yung 0 para ma-simplify natin. So, ang sagot ay 11 over 15. Number 4, 1 third plus 2 fifths. So, using butterfly method, so 1 times 5, we have 5. 3 times 2, we have 6. And 3 times 5 equals 15. And then add. So, 5 plus 6 equals 11. And then copy the denominator. Ayan. So, steps in adding the similar rational algebraic expressions. 
So, we have step 1, use the butterfly method. So, ang gagamitin ko ay butterfly method, hindi yung LCD. Kasi medyo mahaba-haba kasi yun. At least, pag butterfly method, diretsyo na kaagad. Then, step 2, add the given expressions in the numerator by combining like terms. So, write your answer in the numerator over the common denominator. So, same procedure lang kapag naging similar, uh, RAE na siya, kung anong ginawa natin noong una, ganun pa din. So, step 3, simplify your answer if needed. So, example number 1, 3x over 4y squared plus 5x over 2y. So, solution, so use the butterfly method. So, 3x times 2y, we have 6xy. And then, 4y squared times 5x is equals to 20xy squared. 4y squared times 2y is equals to 8y cubed. So, ayan. Meron na silang common denominator. And step 2, add the given expression in the numerator by combining like terms. And write your answer in the numerator over the common denominator. So, kung napapansin nyo, wala tayong like terms. Kaya wala tayong i-add. Pusit na tayo sa step 3. Simplify your answer if needed. So, ating numerator, meron silang common factors. Kaya, kailangan natin silang i-factor. So, ito ang factor niya. So, 2xy times quantity 3 plus 10y. And then, sa 8y cubed, I-factor din natin. So, we have 2 times 2 times 2 times y times y times y. So, meron tayong makakancel. Si 2, si y. So, wala na. Then, yung matitira, yun ay ating sagot. So, ang numerator, merong natirang x times quantity 10y plus 3. At si denominator, may natirang 4. 2 times 2 equals 4. Then, y times y equals y squared. So, ang final answer natin ay x times quantity 10y plus 3 over 4y squared. Number 2. 3x over x plus 3 plus 4 over 3x minus 1. So, solution, use the butterfly method. 3x times 3x minus 1. So, distributive property lang ang gagamitin. So, ang sagot ay 9x squared minus 3x. Then, 4 times quantity x plus 3. So, 4 times quantity x plus 3 is equals to 4x plus 12. Then, x plus 3 times 3x minus 1. So, hindi ko na siya may multiply. Sinulat ko na lang siya as ganyan. And step 2, add the given expression in the numerator by combining like terms and write your answer in the numerator over the common denominator. So, si 9x squared, wala siyang kapareha. So, kopyahin. Si negative 3x, saka si 4x, like terms sila, pero unlike sign, so minus. So, negative 3x plus 4x is equals to x. Si 12, wala kapareha. So, kopyahin over quantity x plus 3 times quantity 3x minus 1. Simplify your answer if needed. Si 9x squared plus x plus 12, wala naman siyang factor, kaya isulat lang natin siya. And then, naka-factor out naman na si x plus 3 tsaka si 3x minus 1, so, sulat lang din natin. At dahil wala namang makakancel, so yun na yung ating sagot. Let's have number 3, x minus 2 over x squared minus 2x minus 8 plus 2x over 3. So, solution, so use the butterfly method. So, kung nahirapan kayo sa butterfly, may choice kayo, pwede kayong gumamit ng LCD. Pero para sa akin, ito yung pinaka mas madaling gamitin. Sige, multiply na tayo. So, x minus 2 times 3. So, we have 3x minus 6. Then, 2x times x squared minus 2x minus 8. So, we have 2x cubed minus 4x squared minus 16x. And then, si denominator, hindi ko na siya minumultiply. Ang ginagawa ko dyan, nire-write ko lang siya as product ng dalawa. So, yan. So, 3 times quantity x squared minus 2x minus 8. 
And then step two, add the given expressions in the numerator by combining like terms and write your answer in the numerator over the common denominator. So, si 2x cubed, wala siyang common. So, kopya. Si negative 4x squared, wala din. So, kopyahin. Si 3x at saka si negative 16x. So, like terms sila, pero unlike sign, kaya minus. So, 3x minus 16x, we have negative 13x. And then, si negative 6, walang kaparehas. Kaya, kopyahin. Copy na lang natin. And then, copy the denominator. So, we have 3 times quantity x squared minus 2x minus 8. So, ang ating numerator, uh, step 3, simplify your answer if needed. So, ang ating numerator, wala naman siyang factor or common factor, kaya isulat na lang natin siya. Yung ating denominator, may factor si x squared minus 2x minus 8, kaya i-factor natin siya. So, we have quantity x plus 2 times quantity x minus 4. Then, yung 3. So, ang final answer natin ay 2x cubed minus 4x squared minus 13x minus 6 over 3 times quantity x plus 2 times quantity x minus 4. Medyo mahaba-haba itong number 3. Let's sum number 4, n minus 3 over 2n squared minus n minus 3 plus 2n over 3n. So, solution. So, use the butterfly method. So, n minus 3 times 3n. So, we have 3n squared minus 9n. Then, 2n times 2n squared minus n minus 3. So, we have 4n cubed minus 2n squared minus 6n. And then, yung denominator, hindi ko na siya minultiply. So, isinulat ko lang siya as product of 2. So, 3n times quantity 2n squared minus n minus 3. Add the given expression in the numerator by combining like terms and write your answer in the numerator over the common denominator. So, medyo mahaba yung ating numerator, no? Si, four, si 4n cubed, wala siyang common, so kopyahin. Meron tayong common na n squared, so 3n squared at negative 2n squared. So, unlike sign, so minus. So, 3n squared minus 2n squared, we have positive n squared. And then, may common pa ulit, si negative 9n at saka si negative 6n. Common terms at common at like sign, so add. So, negative 9n minus 6n, so we have negative 15n. And then, copy the denominator. So, step 3, simplify your answer if needed. So, ating numerator, meron silang common factor, which is n. So, ilabas natin si n. So, magiging n times quantity 4n squared plus n minus 15. And then, si 2n squared minus n minus 3, meron din siyang factor. So, i-factor natin siya. So, magiging ganito na siya. So, 3n times quantity 2n minus 3 times quantity n plus 1. So, cancel natin si n. Dahil common factors yun. So, ang matitira na lamang ay 4n squared plus n minus 15 over 3 times quantity 2n minus 3 times quantity n plus 1. So, medyo mahaba yung number 4. So, yung aking, ating sagot. So, kayo naman, try nyo to. So, find the sum of the given rational algebraic expressions. So, magkakaiba sila ng denominator. So, una-una nyo gagawin, dapat gawin nyo muna silang similar RAE. And then, kapag naging similar na sila, pwede na kayong mag-add. So, pwede kayo gumamit ng LCD, pwede rin gumamit ng butterfly method. So, saan kayo mas nadadalian, meron kayong choice. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time!